Computer science is one of those things that can relate to so many different impacts of teaching, learning, life outside of the classroom, etc. Like if students are using their phones, just like even talking about, okay, well, how is it that you are able to communicate from one phone to another? That's a whole like deep dive that you could go into that is relevant to students. Or it could be, how is it that you are able to watch your favorite live streamer when you go home and you're on your computer? Or how is it that you're able to engage in this online learning platform when we have like a at-home learning day, like a remote learning day? You could talk about packets and packet loss and like how the internet works and all sorts of other interesting things related to networking and computing. You could talk about the algorithms that allow that to happen and different programming languages. Like there's so many different avenues that you could go down that relate to that topic and that are relevant to real life context. Whatever direction you end up going down that aligns with that worthy topic that you chose, you're going to end up finding some different communities or practice, a la Lave and Wenger. The authors mentioned that this quote, help students see themselves as potential participants and contributors to different musical practices, end quote, it's from page 43. So if we, again, take this away from musical practices and think about the computer science practices, if you start having it so that students can think about how they're able to communicate, like with different social media people, if you help students realize how they are able to communicate using different devices, like use that as a topic, that allows them to see how some people are communicating with different media. So in the last few months, as an example, I have switched over 100% into content creation on my own. Before you had to like go to work at an organization and, and create some lesson plans that were then distributed through physical copies in like the form of test textbooks, et cetera. And then it's like shifted over into, okay, well now I have these online lessons and whatnot. And now what I'm doing is actually creating content 100% on my own for my own website, for my own YouTube channel, etc. All this to say that there are many ways that people can participate and contribute within a particular domain. So if you're exploring a worthy topic or whatever, there is so much more availability and access with just like simple devices like a cell phone for people to be able to learn about, share, communicate, etc and explore these different domains and topics. This is very different than when I was in school. A lot of what I was learning in school was like contained within that classroom. We did not necessarily communicate and collaborate with people outside of that, especially not with experts, unless they were brought in physically in person and we were able to ask some questions for like a day or something like that. Most of what I was learning was confined within that particular classroom and had very little connection outside of that. Nowadays, that is very different. So students are able to see themselves as both participants and contributors within a space. I mean, there are teenagers who are making like atom colliders and whatnot in their garages. Those individuals can certainly communicate with people at like CERN and whatnot to kind of like learn from them and talk about what they are learning from that particular process, etc. It doesn't necessarily need to be something as complicated as that, but it could just be something as simple as like software development, like students who are creating an app in like a high school web development class or an app class or whatever, they could go into different forums, online spaces, etc., and communicate and collaborate and even contribute to those different spaces, which is why it's important to think of the real life context. This excerpt of the CSK8 podcast is from episode number 194, which is titled Bringing Curriculum to Life enacting project-based learning in computer science programs. You can listen to the full episode as well as hundreds more by searching for the CSK8 podcast or by simply going to jaredoleary.com.